good for you, buddy. Now that you've got your first video out of the way on YouTube, I want to prepare you for the truth. A lot of people don't do this when they see a person's first video. I know you've watched enough of my videos to understand exactly what I'm about to tell you. I encourage you to do the most real videos you can. Talk about what you feel. Because this story may inevitably be that. Okay, let me start over. Welcome to YouTube. I know you're a long time viewer of my videos and you've seen a lot of my videos. And I know you know exactly what I'm going to say next. Now that you've got your feet wet and you've made your first YouTube video, I want to welcome you to YouTube. And I also want to warn you. There are some people out here whose whole purpose and sole purpose is to say hurtful things, disrespectful things, evil and vile things to you. Their whole purpose is to try to break your will, disrespect you, and get you rattled. Make you feel like less than what you are. And now, I'm going to be an asshole and tell you, based on what I'm watching in this video, what they would say. They would complain about your shirt. They would complain about your hat. They would talk shit about your dog. They'd say you're in some log cabin somewhere. They would complain about everything that is you that they think would hurt you. First video I did, all I was trying to do was be nice. Got like 10 N bombs dropped on me called all different kind of names. Bad things were said to me. I want to call you one name right now. Because I know you've watched enough of my videos. I'm going to call you my friend. And I'm going to wish you good luck in your venture on YouTube. Regardless of what per regardless regardless of what purpose you're doing your videos for hobby, uh, to give people awareness, or just to let people know that you are a real man, and that you've seen some things in life that maybe need to be told, whatever your purpose is with YouTube, I wish you luck, I wish you find your niche, and I wish people give you respect while you do what you do. But I warn you, YouTube is not for the faint of heart. YouTube is not for those who can't take criticism. Because sometimes we all can't take criticism. You may talk about how beautiful your daughter was on her prom night, and someone may call your daughter some slut bitch ass hoe. As you show the picture of you and your beautiful daughter in her prom dress. You may talk about the first time your son, you know, went fishing with you. And you show a picture of you and your son. And somebody says, oh, you and your son look like two faggots. Or you, your son looks like a bitch. No wonder you got him fishing. People will say hurtful things. You could be talking about a Barack Obama's health care policy. I don't think his health care policy will work because of blah, 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 blah. You stupid white man, you're just a fucking racist. You fucking blah, 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 blah. Or you could be saying something positive about Barack Obama and somebody call you a stupid fucking fat ass nigger lover. What you doing fucking your dog? I'm trying to be blatantly honest and give you some examples. I don't mean anything that I said that was negative personally towards you. I'm just giving you some examples of how people come out of left field with some bullshit that has nothing to do with it. You could be talking about how your dog is, this is your dog's third birthday, that makes him 21 years old. Not too many people can drink at three, you know, make a joke about it and somebody calls you a, some sick fuck. And, you know, and it's a fucking heartwarming warming video that's funny and it's cute and it's, it's a good video. 
You're a fucking fag. You goddamn cocksucker. You nigger lover. You peck of wood. You hunky. I'm not just saying these bad words to get you used to it. Because they're not going to put a video camera up here and say anything negative about you. Because they won't have any guts to say anything negative about you. They're just going to try to pick something out of the background, look at your glasses, or say anything they want to to be hurtful. So I'm going to tell you again for the last time, if this is what you really want to do, then you go ahead and do it. I can understand why some people remain faceless. They don't want to get their feet wet because people say hurtful things. My arms are open, brother. I'm giving you a YouTube hug. I'm going to tell you to hang in there because the bad shit hasn't happened yet. So Snoop, as soon as you start getting your videos going and people start, hey, you know, this guy's really got something to say. Well, I like what he's saying. This guy is the guy. Then you're going to get your haters. So before you get too deep into this YouTube thing, I want you to do one thing for me. I want you to go to all the people that you watch their videos and randomly pick a video. Go, go to the videos with the most comments. Look through their comments before you decide if this is what you really want to do. Thank you. And I will be glad to welcome you as my friend because I know you've watched enough of my videos to be considered a friend of mine. Take my advice wholeheartedly. Never pick one side, but be an advocate for all. Be an individual. Lead the pack. Never follow. But always have a group you can go follow with. Always be who you set out to be from your first video to the last video. Because when you go changing. And you start changing up from this guy to that guy. From this image to that image. People are going to notice one thing about you. They're going to see straight through you. And they're going to say, you know what, this motherfucking Snoop, Snoop, Snoop 69, I believe it is. You know that Snoop? Well, shit. He's been too.